was a young man 40 years ago, the country was very, very poor with lots and lots and lots of people living in poverty. In my country, that was the case in 1974. Seven children for family, tremendous growth at 3.3%. There was just no future. We needed to reduce the poverty growth rate. So we said, let's do it. The women said, we agree, we'll use pills, but we need a doctor to prescribe the pills. So we went to the ordinary people that you saw act so they could supply pills and condoms throughout the country, in every village of the country. So there we are. We went to the people who were seen as the cause of the problem to be the solution. So that was the step we went. So wherever there were people, and you can see most of the women, selling things, here's the floating market, selling bananas and crabs and also contraceptives. Wherever you find people, you will find contraceptives in Thailand. And then we decided, why not get to religion? So we went to them and they said, look, uh, could you help us? Holding a ball of, of holy water for the monk to sprinkle holy water on pills and condoms for the sanctity of the family. And this picture was sent throughout the country. And then we went to teachers. You need, you need everybody to be involved. We had children's condom blowing championship. And before long, the condom was known as the girl's best friend. In Thailand, for poor people, diamonds don't make it. So the condom is the girl's best friend. We introduced our first microcredit program in 1975, and the women who organized it said, we only want to lend to women who practice family planning. If you're pregnant, take care of your pregnancy. If you're not pregnant, you can take a loan out from us. And what happened? And all this thing, from seven children to 1.5 children. Population growth rate of 3.3 to 0.5. And so that's the case of everyone joining in. We ha didn't have a strong government. We didn't have lots of doctors, but it's everybody's job who can change attitude and behavior. Then AIDS came along and hit Thailand, and we had to stop doing a lot of good things to fight AIDS. But unfortunately, the government was in denial, denial, denial. Every ministry, even judges, had to be involved in AIDS education. Everyone, and we said the public, the institutions, religious institutions, schools, everyone was involved. And here, every media person had to be trained for HIV. And then AIDS education in all schools. And then we had this Captain Condom with his Harvard MBA going to schools and nice spots. And they loved him. You need a symbol of something. You know, in every country, every program, you need a symbol. And he's, this is probably the best thing he's ever done with his MBA. And then we gave condoms up everywhere in the streets, everywhere, everywhere. In, in taxis, you get. Condoms. And then a you know, new change. We had hairband, uh, clothing, and the condom for your know, mobile phone during the rainy season. Uh, that the weapon of mass protection. And let the next Olympics save some lives. Why just run around? And then what happened? After all this time, everybody joined in. According to the UN, it declined by new cases of HIV declined by 90%, and according to the World Bank, 7.7 .7 million lives were saved.